So right now you know how to connect your Delta G with your E cell. The next step is to connect with the equilibrium constant K. You can write your Delta G not equals to negative RT natural log K, right? So that's actually something that you learn from chapter 16. And on the previous slide, we know delta G naught is equal to negative N times F times your E naught cell. So once you know these two, the left hand side, they are both delta G naught, right? Therefore, you know the things on the right need to equal to each other. So once you know this, what you're saying is actually negative RT natural log K is going to equal to negative N F E not cell. Then you can actually move the the things to the left, right? You divide the negative N F on both sides. So once you do that, then you're going to gain a E not cell is going to equals to this cancels out. On the top you have R T at the bottom you have N F times your natural log K. This equation is always always true. And then one thing you should do you need to know more from these things is that <coughs> things I put the E not cell over there, right? It actually tells you the direction was actually down at the standard condition, which means the direction is actually performed at 1 ATM 278K. Uh, Therefore, you know the temperature here is actually a constant. Okay, that is actually going to equal to your 298k. Or, of course, this is also a constant, right? 8.314. F, that's your Faraday constant. Therefore, I can actually group the three things together. Then eventually, what we're going to have is your E not cell is going to equal to 1 over N. When you put all the three things together, it's going to equal to a number of point. 0.25693 times your natural log k. This will be the equations you need to memorize. So E not cell is actually 0 0.025693 divided by your n times your natural log k. Here are just the same derivations. And this one will be just if you move everything to the left, then you can actually expressing this way, okay? But I will suggest just memorize this. So this is actually one of the examples you're going to see in your homework. Calculate the equilibrium constant K of a reaction. See, calculate K and then it give you E not cell, right? So once you see do these two things, the only equation that's relevant is really just E not cell equals to 0 0.025693 over n times your natural log k. The E not cell is given, right? 1.1. K is actually the things that you want to solve. Do we know the number of electrons that transfer in this redox reaction? It's two, right? We just go through this example in the previous slide. So we know the n is simply equals two, right? Therefore, you know, okay, 1.10 is going to equal to 0 0.025693 divided by 2 times your natural log K. Therefore, your natural log K is going to equal to 1.10 times 2 divided by 0 0.025693. Therefore, your K is going to equal to, this term is actually equal to 85.7. So your k is going to become exponential 85.7. It's going to give you a number of 1.5 times 10 to the 37. Right now we know how the E not cell is connected with your equilibrium constant k. The only thing that we haven't talked about is actually the q. So again, we want to actually use another equation from chapter 16. Okay, your delta G can be connected to your E cell through delta G is going to equal to negative N F E cell. And then delta G naught is equal to negative N F E naught cell. 
So what we do now is we replace your delta g with this term, your delta g now with the second term. So that what we're going to have is that negative nf b e cell is going to equal to negative nf e not cell plus rt natural log q. We divide the negative nf on both sides so that we are going to get e cell is going to equal to e not cell. The second term will be rt over negative nf. Okay, so I'm going to replace this, make it become negative nf times your natural log q. These three terms, again, is going to give you a constant. So we can just further simplify this into E cell is going to equal to your E not cell minus 0 0.025693 times your natural log Q. Again, the third important equation is that you want to actually memorize. So the key difference of this equation differ from other equation is that this is actually the only equations have this term Q inside. Let's look at this example. Calculate the potential at 25 degrees C of a galvanic cell, where it's E not cell. So this should be the E not cell, not E cell. It's E not cell is actually 1.1 volt, in which the concentration of this species is certain number, and then another species is certain number. So you should be able to translate that cell notation into the redox reactions here. Here you should also be able to see that, okay, if you write out your chemical quotient Q, you should equals to, because this is actually pure solid, pure solid, right? So this and this doesn't really go into your Q expression. So your Q should be simply your zinc 2 plus concentration over your copper 2 plus concentration. Okay, so this is actually a very important um, concept you should be able to translate from the cell notation into the redox equation. Therefore, you know how to write the Q. From here, you should be able to see that if inside your questions, it specifically provide you the concentration of zinc 2 plus and copper 2 plus. What it trying to tell you is that I want you to calculate your Q. It asks for the potential, right? So every time you see this keyword potential, it actually tells you, okay, I want to know your E cell. This question must actually test me. Do I know the relationship between my E cell and my Q? So by seeing these features, then I know the only equation that have both component is actually your E cell is equals to your E not cell minus. Okay, make sure you know it's minus 0 0.025693 over N times your natural log Q. E cell is the things they want to calculate. E not cell is actually 1.10. Minus 0 0.025693. Number of electrons that got transferred, we know it is equal to 2 times natural log Q. Q, you should know that it was defined as zinc 2 plus concentration over copper 2 plus concentration, 0.1. Copper 2 plus is 0.001. This is actually 1.10 minus. This whole thing is going to give you a value of 0 0.059. Therefore, you can get a value of 1.04 volts. That will be actually your cell potentials. And here, I also want to emphasize that you have actually E cells. It's different from your E not cell. When you have your E not cell, the concentration of your copper 2 plus equals to 1N. Your zinc 2 plus equals to 1N. So under the case, you're going to have your Q equals to 1. Therefore, the natural of 1 equals to 0. Therefore, your E cell is going to equal to your E not cell.